Recently I was casually working when I received request to create 3D character for a mobile game. Nothing special, needs to be ready fast and it could be a part of my routine until he asks for this. Can I do AI magic? That got me intrigued so I went to check the technical requirements and I saw that one of the character is quite simple and the requirements are not crazy. We do basic textures and mission map up to 30k poly count cap. The only thing concerned me wasn't clear references. So I asked the guy if I can simplify and unify the references since it seems they were already AI generated and they agreed. So I decided it's time for another great video and I got all permission to record it so we're gonna cook something really cool. So now we're gonna figure out how fast I can create 3D character compared to manual approach. In this video you'll see real-time recording of me literally speedrunning 3D character and you also see how same thing is done manually by my professional 3D artist. We're gonna send it to the client and see which one he likes more. So the very first step I did, I spent five minutes to agree on the final reference and here's the final version I approved for basic Android. Since initial reference has multiple colors and some details were looking too complex and I wasn't sure they need it since references are AI generated. And now we can officially start to create it. And the first step is prerequisites. Of course, we needed to put it into the T-pose we need to extract some parts. This is my approach to work with it, but when you work with AI, so I already did that and it's quite easy. Basically, Nana Banana will cover you on all of these needs. So I put this reference to Nana Banana, ask it to make it at a T pose without changing anything. Then I basically say, extract me a halo alone on the white background and so on. In the same way, I did extracted hand. I made the same hand from the bottom that will be needed for texture. Also, I did character without halo and T-pose and same from the backside also will be needed for texture and the head aka helmet. That's it. Optionally, you can remove the background, but white background is also very nice. The so next step will be 3D models. For this, I cannot risk with time. I'm going to use the best 3D AI right now, which is Waiwa 3D version 2, which is really, really good. So let's go there. UI is pretty simple. Right now, they only have version 2 available. We're going to drop our references here. I'm going to drop the body. And here's what you need to know about the settings. I'm going to use the max possible, but Ultima True also is very good. I need a detailed and exactly as done reference. For the poly count for the body, I go the max 1 million. And for the texture, I go to 8k texture that will be needed for baking that should be fine and here in settings I played around with Vivo already and I really like the texture adherence enable it which makes it better to follow geometry for some complex objects you can also play with these settings this might improve the quality quite a lot and if you don't want like light or anything to affect it you can enable this one so we're gonna run it like this for other objects since they are smaller we're gonna go with less polygons such as hand we're gonna go ultima prime and 300k is enough and for textures again we can go with 4k because the object is smaller less details and we're still gonna improve textures in my workflow let's go press generate and since this requires quite a lot of computations it will take around five to seven minutes but for you guys all right, the generations are done. I also did a few more just to make sure I got exactly what I want as soon as possible and times is ticking. So here is our helmet. Second try with this adherence enable it and it looks amazing. Just look at details. All good. This shading is not exactly what I want, but that's totally fine because we need geometry in first place. The same goes for the body. It is really, really good in terms of all the lines. They are symmetrical, which I really want. And overall, this looks really good. I don't care about head because I'll replace it and the hands as well. I see artifact here, but that's not a problem for me. But for legs, all the lines, everything is amazing. Look at the legs here. Exactly what I need. Don't load, don't load the hand. All right. All good here, perfect, perfect, perfect. We can work with that and the halo. All good, I really like this one, but I will make it a little bit 
thinner. That's manageable. Let's download all the models and continue to the next step. But before we move on, many people actually ask me like, how do I get so much consistent inquiries? That's because I invested some time into building my own website that are also useful for people and also brings me additional projects. And with this new year energy, it is actually time to turn one day to day one and start investing in your future. And if your goal is a website or you're planning to start selling online, I want to highly recommend new Hostinger website builder. It is absolutely amazing tool interwent with the solid infrastructure provider and of course powered by AI and it costs less than coffee. Let me show you something. We're gonna go to websites and press add a website. I'm gonna select Hostinger website builder. First, we're gonna enter the website name. Let it be Stefan 3D AI. And here you basically give the context of the website you're creating. For me, it's gonna be, I have my YouTube channel and I want to show what cool videos I create and find sponsorship opportunities. And I also want to start selling my courses. Not yet, but maybe in the future. And then we hit the create website and let this guy cook. And just like that, the website is already created. And we're gonna press continue to edit website and here we can actually set the images as easy as it can be we can move things around we can also use ai assistant to basically help us to add new section replace images or even generate an images so you can press to generate an image here press generate just like this you can also place your images and you have complete freedom and the assistant will help you a lot website builder also significantly helps with the seo which for me is the most annoying part and hosting your ai will help to make your website visible all across the internet and right now hosting has new year sale and the price with discount is absolutely ridiculous and if you're gonna use my coupon code you'll get extra 10 percent off link and code in the description Meanwhile, so first 3D artist basically found a dummy female body, located it over the reference, then started to sculpt on top, trying to fit the shape. After she finished the basic shape, she started to come up with the armor parts. Basically, she sculpted every detail carefully in the way that you see on the screen. She did that with the hands, with shoulders, fingers, every single detail carefully created according to the reference. For the Halo, she created with hard surface modeling using primitives and some advanced 3D skills. So you can see using primitives, she did all the shape. To do this, you really need a lot of experience. And this is really cool. This step took quite a while. Here is how final sculpted version looked like and it is just amazing. It took almost a day to get everything done like this amazing job amazing attention to details meanwhile let's open the blender and start cooking so the first thing we're gonna need to drop all the models here and we're gonna combine them in one so first i'm gonna go to all objects and remove the groups that's easy to do alt p clear parents alt p clear and keep transformation alt p remove all groups now we're selecting the body let's set it a real size two meters copy scale everywhere let's set it to stay on the ground fine now let's position the helm right away something like that that looks good let's see how it's connecting it's actually connecting really good i'm done with this one for the halo we're gonna process it separately let's do rename it hello source we're gonna get to it soon now for the hand let's basically rotate it and we're gonna need to position it in the right way right okay i think it's right arm so we're gonna rotate it once again now let's position it i think we're gonna need to do it on the top because it is tilted just a little bit so we're gonna need to repeat that tilt so we can position it in the right way and that's how we actually eliminate the problems with the hand i can scale it just a little bit more or maybe like just a little bit less so it's fit the original size and it should be somewhere here on this level right amazing that's actually it. Now, the thing is that I will just connect the hand for one side and mirror it. But to do that, I gotta need to jump in the sculpt mode and basically first remove the part underneath. So there are now intersect. So you can see right now it's like two objects intersecting. 
That's easy to fix. Gonna go to sculpt mode. Don't need to do anything. Just go to the solid mode. Go to here and select the lasso mask. One of my favorite tool. Let's choose the front view. Now let's see where is our head covering what do we need to cut okay so i understand we need to cut somewhere like that like that like that let's confirm okay this part we don't need to be extremely precise in this case yeah that's enough now let's cut it mask slice boom all right that one removed oh i got i see something here just in case we can remove it also now we can enable that object. So, okay, there is no intersects. The same thing we need to do for our hand. We're going to use top view. Guess I need to see the texture also. Okay, so it goes like this. So I need to cut it something like that. And to cut all the rest of the object. All right, so let's confirm like how I cut it. So it follows like the shape. And I think I need to be a little bit... Basically, I'm trying to follow this shape. Okay, let's go. Deleting this. Perfect. Okay, now there is a gap here and we're gonna address it right away. We're gonna go and take elastic grab right here and I will switch to this mode to just touch the geometry. You can press F to adjust the brush size and I just need, okay, we forgot to remove the mask. Right now, we are fighting with the time, so we're gonna make some imperfect stuff, but we make it in time. Okay, I think it's good for now. It's connected, maybe not the best way here. That's totally fine for now. Now, the very last thing I want to do is to smoothen some shapes here, because since we're gonna bake it, it's not a big problem, to be honest, but we're gonna just smoothen a little bit, and you can always do that by holding shift, but make sure the strength is set not too heavy. All right, I'm happy with the model right now. Now, let's cut it in half and mirror, because I have only hand connected here. But yeah, look how different like the hand look here and here there's plenty of way to do that but since i cannot just select it it will be a problem i'll just create a cube like this i will position cube by one and this cube is usually two by two and i just gonna need to make it a bit higher so it covers all avatar that's enough now we're going to go to object mode i will select all the objects Ctrl J to make sure it's one object right now. Perfect. Now we're gonna select this object, go to modificator, edit, and find boolean. And here I'm gonna select the cube. Let's go, let's go. It cannot be a little bit long because there's a lot of vertices. Okay, this might happen if there's selected exact. We're gonna select float and this should fix it. All right, that's the expected result. Now we can apply the boolean while it calculates all the thing. All right, again, we're gonna remove the cube as well. Now we're gonna go and add a mirror modificator so we can actually duplicate it. We're gonna deselect X and select Y. All right, now our model, we can go back into shading mode and see that it's perfectly created. We can apply this modificator as well. We don't need to keep it. And here is the model that we're going to use to bake color texture. That's cool. Moving to the next, we're going to duplicate it and create a model that we're going to send to remesh. So the thing is that we need to optimize it. Let's rename first like body source and hide it for now. We're going to use it for baking. And this one, we're going to remove all materials from here like this. This mesh, basically, I want to remesh, optimize less than 2 million polygons and send for retopology. How do I do that? Basically, I go to sculpt mode. And the only thing I need to do is basically press remesh and select value like 001 and press remesh. And we're going to wait again. Later. All right, it's done. And if you did everything right, you will not see too many differences, but you can see it's done successfully. If you see some holes or stuff, make sure when you combine parts, you didn't left any holes like in the connection parts and stuff. So I didn't. And you see it connected perfectly. And now it's like one solid mesh, which is fine. Now we go go back to object mode and see how much objects here to see see the stats is easy you can go here and overlay and basically enable statistic now we can see there's like almost 8 million triangles that's now what we want to send to Hunyuan. so we're gonna go and search for decimate and here we can see the face count is almost 4 millions we need 
less than 2 million so i'm gonna choose a value like 0.25 press enter and this is the last time we're gonna need to wait perfect you most likely will not see any differences because it's still very very detailed mesh and we're gonna need it like to just for a remesh so just press apply here okay finally now we're gonna remake it like body for retopo and i'm gonna select this object and export it as glb and i will only export this object so i will name it body i don't need anything but this object make sure you don't have the materials they will not need it i'm gonna do the same for halo but before doing that i will need to basically scale it i think just 0.5 it's enough and that is my expected shape i don't want it like to be too white and apply the scale and rotation so everything cool here and duplicate it as well call it we're gonna hide source and this one we're gonna remove material we're gonna also export it and use it for retopo all right fine we are ready here next step usually is retopology this is probably the most annoying step and the main reason why everyone say ai is not good enough because of the topology and the mesh Meanwhile, here you can see a time lapse how my artist basically creates a topology on top of high poly model using Retopo Flow, one of the best add on for Blender. You can also take a look on, on my other video where I explain for the beginners why topology is important and how to get into it. Also, explaining Retopo Flow to execute this on really good level, you really need a lot of skills, and this is probably the longest part of manual creation. That's why every optimization is so valuable such as mirroring and thing right after retopology is done she started to do uv unwrapping for further texturing this is also a very important step and there's a lot of details that you only learn over time and especially it's very important step for game engines that require a lot of optimization meanwhile now guys let's move on to Hunian Studio. So we're gonna go to Hunian Studio right now. I'm using Chinese version because in Chinese version, I'll got access to 3D Studio soon. It will also be available in Global Studio. And if you can't wait, you can actually apply to the waitlist right now. And yeah, that's amazing thing because they have something called a retopology and they have technology called Polygen, which do a really, really good job. Probably the best right now in AI. So what we're gonna need to do is basically load the model here. It might take a while to upload the file because the current one is on Chinese servers but we are patient all right so object is loaded and here we have two settings like how low we go medium high low and if we go with triangles or quads for halo I gonna go low and I will do the same for body exactly the same with the medium let's give it a run okay so it's done for body and it's done for halo look how amazing it looks this is done only with ai and this amazing result really like it and for the character i'm actually a little bit even scared like how good it is i mean you you, you see it by yourself now before we actually take this model and start baking before texture we're gonna need to unfold it because unfolding here and sometimes it gives result better than unfolding with blender smart uv projection we're gonna do the same thing for halo as well it's of course not the same as you can do control manually but for our needs here this is an amazing thing all right so first model is done and here we go take a look at this look how cool is that i mean haters gonna hate they will always find imperfection but this is done by ei and it's improving every day let's grab it as fbx i'm gonna save it as body retopo let's grab the halo as well all right boom 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 all right Looks good. If you're not happy, you can redo. It usually gives different results. All right. And now let's drop them to the blender. Okay. So they are basically the same place as our main model. Let's name them Hello Retopo. Body Retopo. Okay, guys, and while editing, I realized this video actually is already too long. So I decided to split it in two parts, but you don't have to wait too long. Next part will go live tomorrow. So hit the bell button to not miss it out. In next episode, we'll continue the speedrun. I'll show you how to bake maps from high poly to low poly really fast. We also do amazing texture painting with AI, rigging, animation, send it to the client and compare my model with the model that 3D artists created. See you soon.